hello hello and welcome back once again to Hitman 2 and the free-headed serpent mission set in Santa Fortuna and today we are going to be taking care of the key master challenge of discovery or feat whichever you wish to call it so for this one all we're going to be bringing with us will be our lockpick and our silence pistol mostly those are for the three main targets of which we have already eliminated so we'll pick up after I have silent assassined the three main targets so off the bat right from the start what we're gonna do is make our way down towards the bar at the fishing village uh, for this challenge what we need to do is unlock three secret doors uh, if you've been following my videos, we've already covered two of these doors. So once we get down to the bar area, we're going to make our way round to the back here and we're going to collect this rat poison from the crate. Make our way around the bar to the other side. All the way round till we come to the far side. And on the outer wall here, we will find a fuse box. So we're going to crouch down we're going to turn off that fuse box. And then we're going to turn it back on again and that's going to distract the barman inside the bar and we're just going to move a safe distance out of his way so when the barman comes out to investigate we will knock him out we will take the key he drops and we will hide his body and just for good measure we're going to take his outfit as well so once the barman is in position, just sneak up behind him, render him unconscious, take the key, that's the important bit, take his outfit, that's also quite important, hide his body in the uh, crate behind us, and we're going to make our way back through the bar right to the end table, the one on the right nearest to the, vi the fishing village, and you can see the shopkeeper who is just urinating in the bushes over yonder now he's gonna eventually go and drink from that bottle and be sick in the bathroom and we can then render him unconscious and take his key we need that key for the second key for the second secret door you ordering it down or something back there I'm kidding I'm kidding I think you're inebriated, sir. And no more drinks for you except the one on the table at the end of the bar. That one will be on the house. Take it and go. So basically, after his little rant and semi trying to offer me out there, He's going to make his way back to that table, he is going to sit down and he is going to drink the bottle of beer that we have poisoned, and then he's going to stagger all the way back over here, here he comes now, and he's going to make his way into the bathroom, and we are going to follow him yeah. in, and finish our little hey, conversation okay? about you want to start with me pal, what was he saying? <laughs> Never mind, you won't be saying very much for some time. So once he's in the bathroom, we've shut the door behind us, render him unconscious, grab the key that he drops, that's very important, throw him out the window head first, that's for slagging me off mate, and hide his body in the crate provided. So with that all now taken care of, we're going to go and open our first secret door, which is directly below the bar in the basement. So we're going to use the basement key we got from the barman to make our way down into the basement. Down here there are two guards who we are going to summarily execute. As you can see, there is no chance of a silent assassin for this one. We just need to kill too many people or we'd spend an hour running around sneaking and hiding bodies everywhere so once the two guards are dead we're gonna twist the valve on the pipe on the rear wall that's gonna open the secret tunnel door and that is our secret door number one 
So with door number one taken care of, we can move on to door number two. And for that, we are going to need the shop key that we collected from the very drunk individ individual. And we need to use this key. We can't use a lockpick because if we use a lockpick, apparently the golden idol that is located on the table inside will disappear. And you must use the key. Apparently, I've not tried it with a lockpick. So once we have the golden idol, which technically is the key to our second secret door, we now require an outfit. And that outfit would be the shaman's outfit. This door is very particular about how it's opened. Kind of like the first one, has to be done with a key. This one has to be done with the golden idol whilst disguised as the shaman. Or it won't work, apparently. So once we get to the shaman's hut, we're just going to eliminate the shaman and his guest. <coughs> Pardon me. We're going to take his outfit. And we are now going to run all the way back. Uh, not just back to the bar, we are going to run back to the bar and then some. Uh, essentially, we are going to make our way to the bar, past the bar, to the construction site, past the construction site, and to the ancient ruins. And this, I believe, is the fastest route, and it's still a hell of a long way. So we're now back at the bar. And we're just going to carry on running straight down the main road, if that's what this can be called. Looks like a stretch of mud, if you ask me. Straight into the construction site. It's not restricted while we're in this outfit, and there are no enforcers, so we can literally run all the way in with impunity. And once we get to the ancient ruins, once again, we are going to pull out our silenced pistol and summarily execute these two guards right here and then we're going to place the idol in its little placement here and that will open our second secret door which would be the Lara Croft Tomb Raider style door or should I say Indiana Jones as I don't have the cup size to be Lara Croft so with the second door now open we're going to take one of these guards outfits and continue on our way towards the hippo enclosure and on from there to the Delgado Mansion, the, the car garage. So we're just going to take out these two guards at the entrance to the hippo enclosure. Die! There we go. So with them two nicely out of our way, we can now continue on towards the car garage, garage garage, whatever you want to call it. The lock up, the shed, although it's a very expensive looking shed. Just be aware of, there, there are enforcers about, we can't go around killing everyone, we'll be here all day. We'll save that for the kill everybody challenge. So once we make it to the garage, we're going to lock pick our way into the office area here. There is an enforcer who frequents this room. And the button for the secret door is just under the desk ahead of us. And when we press that, a secret door in the garage will open and the key master challenge will pop for us. Now I'm just putting you out of my misery. And because we've already taken out Delgado earlier, I happen to have the sports car keys. So there you go, that is the key master challenge taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.